What do you say then to those critics, and a lot of them are fellow law enforcement officers, who say you guys didn't handle the situation properly, and many people who, um, as tough as it might sound, consider you guys cowards with the way yeah. you acted yeah. that day? I strongly disagree, and again, opinions vary, sir, and they're going to, um, but I can tell you that probably 100% of those people hadn't been in a situation like that before. Do you feel like you guys are being singled out, scapegoated? Well, by all means, since the very beginning, sir. I've been scapegoated from the very beginning. Nearly 400 law enforcement agents responded to the Robb Elementary shooting scene on May 24, 2022. Arredondo has now been charged criminally for his actions that day, facing multiple felony counts of child endangerment. He and his lawyer, Paul Looney, sat down with CNN and spoke for more than an hour about the shooting. I keep thinking about, you know, what are the questions that the victim's families would want to ask you? And I think ultimately it all kind of boils down to, is like, how come officers didn't go into that room sooner? Right, right. What do you say to those families? If you look at the body cam footage, there was no hesitation in myself and the first handful of officers that went in there and went straight towards uh, the hot zone, as you may call it, and took fire. And then at that point, we, we worked with what we had. The protocols of, as I understand it, of active shooter training is you go after the gunman and you focus on the gunman until he or she is taken out. That didn't happen in this case. Why not? We, we couldn't. Again, you can't see what's on the other side of a wall uh, at that point. But well, you're supposed to get through that wall. Right, right. You can't, you, you, you can't see through it, first of all. Uh, so when we were shot at and, and we backed off to think, okay, now we know where he's at because we, we didn't know where he was at. That's when we took fire and backed out and realized, okay, now we need to come up with a plan to get back up there. If I show you a couple of video clips, would you mind, I'd love just to, as we watch them, I'd love to get your perspective on what I'm we I'm sorry, seen. but I'd rather not look at video clips, sir. I, I just don't. I just, I just don't. I've kept myself from that. Um, it's difficult for me to see that. Um, these are my children too, and people don't understand that. You know, we went down the hallways every day and stressed about keeping doors locked, stressed about being vigilant, and um, I, the, the, the less I see of those, sir, that I don't have to, the, the better for me. What the body cam video clips that Arredondo refused to watch show is that on that day in the hallway at 12.09 p.m., he said he knew there were likely victims in the room with the gunman. As soon as I clear this room, I'm going to verify what's been vacated, guys, before we do any kind of reaching. It comes on our side right now. We've got to have kids in there. We've got to save the lives of the other ones. In that moment when lives were at stake, why did you think time was on your side? I, I don't recall making that statement. I'm sorry, it's, there's some things that you don't recall while you're in that hallway. As we've watched body cam footage of what happened and how those 77 minutes unfolded inside Robb Elementary, you're on those tapes uh, constantly giving orders to other officers. We're gonna clear out before we, before we do any reach, we're gonna clear out these things. The sense was is that those officers were deferring to you as the lead officer. So why shouldn't you bear the brunt of the responsibility of how all that unfolded? Sure, and, and it's, it's natural for me to give direction um, with, with what information you have while you're in there. Um, and again, limited information was there uh, on the inside. No entry to a judge. The police gives you permission there. Arredondo now claims there were state police officers from the Texas Department of Public Safety who arrived after him who should have set up an incident command post and taken control of the scene. The guidebook tells you the incident commander does not stand in the hallway and get shot at. Incident commander is someone that's not in the hot zone and is in, in another location. You ready for friendlies? Tell them to wait. No, 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 nobody no. entry. Do you think you made any mistakes that day? Again, that's a hindsight uh, statement. I, you know, you can think all day and second guess yourself. I know we did the best we could with what we had. And, and by running into that building and not leaving there and doing what we could or doing what I could and what the other officers could, it was the best we could with the situation we had and the information we had.